January the 1st of 2022 is going to be huge. It is going to be spectacular. And I'm talking about so much more than a great New Year's Eve. I'm talking about more than just a party and a celebration. What I'm talking about is an alignment with the great celestial body that lies above. And if you engage your energy with this, friend, this will set you up for the most prolific year you've ever experienced. Let me tell you all about it. Come on, let's kick into it. Hello, my friend, a very warm welcome to Elevate today. My name is Ben. I'm here every day encouraging you, showing you how to come up higher, showing you how to live your best life, talking about the law of attraction, things I learned studying for a degree. Friend, it's all here. Why not reach out? Tell me where you're from and say hi. I would love to connect with you. But my friend, this is a short energy update for you. You know, we are almost at the 1st of January 2022. Isn't that crazy how time is speeding up? And you know, the 1st of January represents more than just a date on a calendar. It represents so much more then a celebration to bring in the new year. Did you know that original celebrations of the new year were simply about the passing of all that has been old and the welcoming of all that is new, the welcoming of that which has so far remained unseen? Do you have some things in your life that have remained unseen? Is there a love in your life? Is there some abundance in your life? Is there some healing? Is there a dream that has so far remained unseen in your life? Because friend, if there is, you can harness the energy that is coming open and available on the 1st of January, 2022. Here's what you need to do. When you put your head on the pillow on New Year's Eve, let go of that which has plagued you throughout the year. If you consider your year, you will notice that there have been things that have stayed with you throughout the duration of the year. Trials, difficulties, mindsets. This is the time to finally let them go. Just release them. You don't need to hold on to them anymore. Because as you release them, what you do is you make space in your inner environment for the new to pour in. You make space to invite that which has remained unseen. And as you do, the universe sweeps in in majesty and does all of the work that you could never have done on your own. So often we try to manifest a dream in our own strength. And we run here and there and everywhere and we get frustrated when things don't work. And we get flattened and depressed. And we think, when's it ever going to be my time? But friends, this is an opportunity to let all of that pass away. If you will make a conscious decision to come up higher, if you will make a conscious decision to let go of the old, it doesn't serve you anymore, and make space for the new, then that empty void will be filled by the majesty of the universe. See, the universe wants to do that work in you. It wants to see you living amidst the glory of your manifested dream. The problem is we keep sticking our fingers in the universe's pie. We keep getting involved and trying to do the work that's not ours to do. Friend, when you learn your position in creation, it's so liberating. It's so freeing. It's so incredible to sit back and watch the universe unfold and move in majesty and in power and authority. Because, friend, yes, you have to participate in your unfolding. But there's so much more to it than that. There's so much more to it than action and activity and inspired action. The weight, the release, the allowing is equally as important and represents equally as big a portion size in the journey of manifestation. It's not all about doing. Sometimes it's about sitting patiently with the energy surrounding you. Sometimes it's about being introspective, going to work on the inside rather than on the outside. The energy available to you on the 1st of January is going to be intense. You'll feel it in your body temple. You can tap into this and you can harness this and you can use this to catapult you forward. 
if you will simply be mindful of keeping out of the old habits, creating that open space for the new, and if you don't know what to do, just release. Lie in bed at the end of December and say, I let go, universe. I release whatever that means. I just let it all out. I let it all flow. Come and fill this space. You know my dreams. You know my heart's desire. If I need to take action, show me where. Give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. And as you pour out from your spirit, the universe is going to meet you right where you're at. And will join the dots. will connect the bits of information. will do the work that you could never do on your own. You and God, you and the divine, you're a majority. In every occasion and in every circumstance. Friends, this is your year. This could be your finest hour. Now, there will be a temptation to start meddling again. There will be a temptation to look into the outside three-dimensional world and say, I don't see the sign that that's coming. And when that happens, we always get back involved. Really, really, I can't stress this enough. Watch out for that. Watch out for that, that inwards, I need to take action, I need to get back in control, I need to do something. Folks, this is not about doing, this is about being. There is a scripture and it says, be still and know that I am God. And what that means is to sit in your authentic power and let the divine unfold before you. Yes, you have to participate, but sometimes that participation is sitting in joyful anticipation. Stay in gratitude. Keep your energy right on point, friend, because I'm telling you now, this could be the catalyst for your every dream come true. Do you believe it? I hope you do. I love you with all of my heart. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.